yesterday our clinical scenario was about postmenopausal bleeding and so today we're going to talk about that the question was you have a 52 year old postmenopausal woman with new onset um, vaginal bleeding what is the best first diagnostic step the answer here like most of you got it um, is actually a transvaginal ultrasound well let me correct you should always do an exam first then you want to start with diagnostic workup and that would be a transvaginal ultrasound let's talk about why postmenopausal bleeding is important so once you're menopausal which means 12 full months without a period any bleeding after that from the vagina is abnormal and needs a workup so let's talk the differential diagnosis the most common cause of postmenopausal bleeding is actually atrophy but this can also be signs of infection it can be signs of an abnormal pap or hpv infection um, precancerous cells it can be signs of endometrial cancer or uterine polyp fibroid so this is where we find ourselves in this clinical situation. 52 year old, new postmenopausal bleeding. What do we need to do? Well, the first, always meet your patient, talk to them, perform an exam. But in this case, we wanna know the next best diagnostic step. And there's a lot of things that we'll wanna do, probably almost all on this list. But the endometrial biopsy and the hysteroscopy DNC depends on the ultrasound results. And that's why we wanna start there first. On the ultrasound, you're going to look at the ovaries, the uterus, but most importantly, we're going to look at the endometrial lining, see if there's any concerns for polyps, fibroids, and most importantly, the endometrial thickness. So classically, we think that when the endometrial lining is greater than four millimeters, it should be biopsy. Of course, you can biopsy anybody that you have a suspicion for or if they have high risk factors, um, but typically we think greater than four millimeters needs to sample to see if this tissue is concerning for a hyperplasia, precancer, or cancer. Sometimes we'll skip the office biopsy and just go straight to DNC based on the ultrasound findings. Um, if there's really high concern for a polyp or if the tissue is very thick and there's a concern that you might miss something with just the biopsy, because you only sample part of the endometrium with an endometrial biopsy, um, or the patient prefers Often if there's um, cervical stenosis and you can't get in to do the biopsy in the office um, without significant pain, a lot of times we'll go to the operating room and do a hysteroscopy DNC in this case. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about postmenopausal bleeding. Key points to remember for med students, uh, first step is an exam and then transvaginal ultrasound. If needed, sample with an endometrial biopsy or potentially a DNC, and we're gonna sample when it's greater than four millimeters on the endometrial stripe. Key point for all of my um, patients out there or women out there, if you have any postmenopausal bleeding, this is never normal. You need to see your doctor. All right, follow along. I hope you like this clinical scenario. We'll see you next week.